espero año y felicidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Braves. I'm Raleigh. And I'm Jillian. Today is Thursday, December 8th, 2022. Check out this day in history. You're watching Braves TV. Well, you coming? A date which will live in infamy. December 8th, 1941. America enters World War II as Congress declares war on Japan. FBLA is sponsoring a canned food drive through December 16th. Please drop off cans in the LMC. Anchor Club members. Sign up to work at the Christmas Parade on the bulletin board in the English hallway. Walton High will be streaming a college success course for this spring semester. Current 10th through 12th graders that meet the requirements on your screen may participate. The course will be held in the LMC on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 10.45. See Ms. Mackey during lunch to sign up by December 13th. Hi, welcome to the holiday trivia. Please name seven different reindeers. Dasher, Prancer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. I'm so glad that you knew those off the top of your head. How many candy canes are sold every holiday season in the United States of America? Hey guys, what's 20 times 7 million? The correct answer is 1.78 billion candy canes per year. What Christmas song was the first song to ever be played in space? Jingle bells. Give me a high five. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. When candy canes were invented in Germany, they were invented in the letter, like, it looked like a J. Why? J is for Germany. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Germany starts with a G. Um, Jillian, give me three different names for Santa Claus. Go. Chris Kringle, St. Nick, and your mom. Semester exams will be given December 14th through 16th. Students that have completed all work, returned their permission slips, and have transportation will be allowed to check out on December 15th and 16th. Show your Christmas spirit the last five days of this semester. On your screen are the themes for next week. Remember, all outfits must be in dress code. Seniors, quotes for the yearbook are due to Miss Murphy on December 16th. Also, it's time to start thinking about the senior class song, motto, and flower. The nomination sheet is in the English hallway across from Ms. Kramer's room. Seniors interested in being considered for the No Ordinary Joe Scholarship should sign up in the SSA office by December 16th. Hello. Go to almost any game to cheer on the Mustangs in Sumner, Nebraska, and you'll see something that's become so much more than just a tradition. One by one, these high school players making their way to the bleachers to hug Jennifer DeHart, the mother of their teammate, Eli, who was killed just over a year ago. Jennifer, what does it mean to you to receive those hugs, those embraces from these students? 
they make me feel special. They make my family feel special. It's like Eli is hugging me through each and every one of them because he loved them so much and they loved him as well. So it's like he's coming home every time I'm there. Sorry. Really trying not to cry today, but it's hard. It's sometimes still hard for DeHart to talk about Eli, who was just 14 when he died in a car crash. Share some memories about Eli. What was he like? Oh, he is so much fun. Always making everybody laugh. Couldn't ask for a better kid. And he loved basketball. That's why Eli's lifelong buddies, Kellen and Noah Eggleston, knew their team needed a special way to honor him. We thought it would just be good to show our love for Jennifer and show how much we care for her and show her that we're always there for her and we'll always have her back. In this tight-knit community, it's a small but mighty gesture to support the woman so many call Mama Jen. Even when I see her like outside of the games, I always tend to give her a hug and tell her I love her and have a good conversation with her. Just to see her, it's so nice. The team's dedication is a point of pride for their coach, Darby Line, who says it's helping them heal, too. I'm just really, really proud of what they came up with. The boys continue to do this when their names are announced because it's so important to them. Keeping Eli in their hearts. Uh, If I could say one thing to Eli right now, I'd probably just tell him I love him, miss him. By spreading the love he gave to others. Going to those boys' games is hard, but... I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, honestly. I know that my son is there with them. It's just the best feeling in the world because it's like my son is hugging me through them. And it means so much to me. That wraps up this edition of Braves TV. Remember to believe, have spirit, and always be brave.